it is said that genius is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration somebody who is willing to keep on trying hard becomes a success mahakavi kalidas the great poet of sanskrit literature how did he ascend to that mastery over sanskrit language we have all heard the story it is said he was so grossly dull in his intellect that he was sitting on the same branch that he was cutting he didn't even realize that he will fall down with it and there was this rajkumari princess who was very scholarly for her marriage she had laid a condition i will only marry that man who can defeat me in shastra scriptural debate so big scholars came they endeavored she would defeat all of them so these pandits became annoyed they said we will teach her a lesson let's get her married to a gross fool they went around looking and they found kalidas cutting the tree's branch they said he is a fit candidate they got hold of him and told him look you don't open your mouth we will get you married to the princess so they tied a big turban around him and they brought him and told the rajkumari that he is a big scholar but in present he is observing mon vrat the vow of silence so this shastrarth scriptural debate will have to be only by actions the rajkumari said all right she lifted one finger kalidas he thought what is she trying to tell me he lifted two fingers he thought she is saying i'll break one of your eyes so he said i'll break your both eyes <laughs> the pandits asked her what was your question she said my question was is the supreme entity one or many so they said you know what he was trying to say was that he is both sakar and nirakar with a form and formless that is why he said two now the rajkumari she lifted her hand five fingers like this kalidas thought she saying i'll slap you <laughs> so he showed his fist i'll give you a box pandit said what was your question this time she said that the five senses are troubling us what is the solution they said what he was meaning was with the help of the mind you have to control them in this way they debated and they defeated her together now she got married to this mood this foolish kalidas after marriage they were sitting on the palace when a camel was going from there seeing the camel go by kalidas said utara 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 the rajkumari thought that is he so illiterate he cannot even speak properly she pushed him from the top of the stairway and kalidas went rolling down fell on the ground with a thud but that insult he decided to put it to good use there was a temple of mother kali he offered his respects and vowed that he will become a scholar and come back he got up and went to kashi the city of scholars he studied there like there was no yesterday and no tomorrow and he became well versed in sanskrit language when he came back after a few years he knocked on the door and said kapatam dwaram dehi my dear wife 
open the door she heard she recognized so she said asti kaschit vag vishesha seems like you have become a great scholar with great proficiency over speech and writing so those three words she uttered asti kaschit and vag vishesha mahakavi kalidas wrote three mahakavyams starting from each of these three words so how did he reach that point through endeavor through effort similarly this process of spirituality requires us applying ourselves to it so practice is important 